Hi. Let's get our sunglasses going here. They're a little bit dirty. It's kind of chilly outside. I finally get to wear my leather jacket. I'm super excited with the pins in it. But today we are going to be doing the final hurrah. Actually, I don't know if it's sunny enough for sunglasses. The final hurrah, so the final Halloween haunting of this season. Um, and then we're going to get into the decorating. Now, I already did a decorate with me last week because they're just really slow to getting stuff out this year. Um, but officially, this is the last Halloween haunting. And then next week, we will start decorating all of the areas of my home. I think like the kitchen, the bedrooms, etc. and the hallway. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are ready. I hope we find some really cool things because I'm super excited. So one of the first places we are going to be going to is Michael's. And then we are going to go over and check out Five Below, maybe. I don't know. Um, the dollar store, though I haven't had much luck with them, but they will take a look. And then we'll also take a look at Ross and Target, I think, depending on how much time I have. I do have to go pick up a friend later, so it just kind of depends on how much time I have. But let's go ahead and do Michael's first, and I'll see you guys there. Hello. Okay, so I'm just going to do a voiceover on these. Um, this video this week definitely did not go as planned. But here's some stuff that I saw at Michael's. They still have this Coffin Cafe little guy that I thought was cute. It's part of their Halloween Town line. Unfortunately, that's the only thing that's left. They didn't have any other Halloween houses. Um, they also had these cool ornaments. They had these skeletons, some ghosties here, and then these bats, which are really, really cute. Um, and they had a lot of the Day of the Dead stuff. Um, they had these cool pictures here that kind of reminded me of the ones that I purchased at at home this year. Um, I also really liked this When the Witches Go Writing um, thing here. I tried to get it out and it kind of got stuck. <laughs> um, but it's just a really cool sign. It looks like it has a little stand on the back and that is how... It would stand up I thought it was like maybe a two-sided thing but no it's just like a frame with a stand behind it um, they also had these cool tombstones um, they're really funny one says gone at last the other one says keep out they had these witch dolls here I'm not super sure how I feel about those they kind of creep me out a little bit <laughs> um, they still had a bunch of their ghouls from the last few videos that we've seen um, and then their ceramic painting or things. And then they had this cool galaxy pumpkin. If you like the star signs, that'd be perfect for a witch theme. They still had their creepy cloth. Um, and this is pretty much the only thing that I bought from Michael's. That's why I didn't do a haul at the end of this video either. Just because there's nothing left. Like everything is already sold out. So I got some gray and green creepy cloth that I can use in videos that are going to be coming up here. Um, yeah, I decided to get a couple because, you know, everything's selling out. And then these ceramic dog heads here, these were pretty cute. And then they had these wooden signs that you could paint. They had a coffin shape one and then a witch's hat. Um, I really love this witch hand with the crystal ball in it. I love the rings. Her style is on point. <laughs> I wish I could style rings like that. Um, and then these really tall Venus fly traps are amazing, but man, they are $200 guys. Like that's insane. One year I'll buy one though. One year. And then they have this really cool plug-in spooky jack-o-lantern. Um, they had these interesting stone crystals and different colors that you could put up in terrariums. Um, that's all they have left, the beakers. I don't know if you guys remember of the last video that I showed, but everything was sold out. I never saw the um, Frankenstein's wife bust. I was pretty disappointed about it. Those were the only two that they had. Um, I have the skeleton bust, but I ordered it online. They never, they never got it in store. Um, so you can check out my Instagram for what that guy looks like. But yeah, it was just a lot of the same stuff that we've already been seeing. Most of it was completely cleared out. Like 
when I say Halloween is going fast, I really mean it. And I say it every week too. Um, Halloween is going really, really fast this year. Uh, they can barely keep anything in stock at all. And um, they have this really cool sign here, Haunted Home is a Happy Home. I thought that was really cute. It has the traditional orange and black on it with the ghosts. And then they had these vintage signs here. They had some plastic tablecloths that looked really, really cute. Um, and then some placemats. These little mini cauldrons are microwave safe and they're oven safe. And every time I go, I'm tempted to get them, but I never do because I'm not really sure what I would use them for. I just think that they look like a lot of fun. Um, and then they have this jack lantern tablecloth that I really, really liked. Um, oh, and then this is at five below. So we switched to another store. This is five below. If you saw my last clip, everything that they had that I showed in the last one, completely sold out, gone. Um, so they just had a few things. I ended up getting this light up. Um, what is this light up skeleton guy? Uh, it looks like it runs on batteries. I might paint it. I kind of like it the way it is, but that's what I ended up purchasing. Sorry, the camera angle is just crazy. There it is. Light up skeleton. Um, but yeah, that's all I ended up doing today was Michael's and, um, five below. There's just nothing there. I didn't run by the dollar store, but everything sold out. It looks exactly like it did in my last video. I can link that here for you guys. So I apologize that there isn't much for the final hunt, but I really mean it when I say everything is sold out. Like look those where those pajamas were, they're completely gone. Uh, but I do appreciate you guys sticking with me. It will be better when we start decorating. So look forward to those videos. And until next time, keep on spooking all you ghouls and spookineers. And don't forget to subscribe.